Chicks are burrowing out of their winter hideouts and starting to populate backyards and parks across Cincinnati. Late spring all the way through the, the warm parts into the fall is, is big tick season. Okay. Um, definitely seeing them out and about great parks, my own house in the backyard. Will Bulesing with Great Parks Hamilton County says three species are most commonly found around here. The black-legged or deer tick known to carry Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever, the American wood tick and the Lone Star tick. And with one of the best park systems in the United States and lush neighborhoods across town, a run-in with the tick this year is more likely than years past. Depends on the stage of life of the tick. Okay. Um, certainly right after they hatch either their eggs and their larva stage, there can be you know, I've seen cases where I've seen you know, 50 to 100 in, in just one area on one flower. Bielsen told us the best defense is wearing light-colored clothing, long pants, tall socks, and even using bug spray. In Ohio, the most common tick can be found in high grasses like these. You can find them just outside your house or maybe in a local park. Whenever you're outdoors, you want to just do a quick tick check. Uh, when you come back in. Dr. Carl Fichtenbaum with the University of Cincinnati says we are seeing more deer ticks and more Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. He says ticks that hang on for 24 hours or more are likely to spread that disease. If you get a fever, uh, any spots on your skin, little, they almost look like little blood spots on your skin um, or a headache uh, and, and it's not explained or anything and you came in contact with a tick, you need to see your doctor right away. If you do find a tick, remove it with tweezers where the pincers meet the skin. If you're able to remove it within hours, the likelihood it transferred anything is slim to none. I'm Colin Mayfield, WLWT News 5. Well,